In this third video, we're going to continue our discussion, our conversation about secrets to a long and happy marriage. This is what you want and this is definitely what I want. We started in this first video some time ago, whether you're watching this daily or weekly, we started talking about this idea of praying together with your spouse. Every single day, you and your spouse come together. It's not complicated. Don't make it complex. It's very simple. Talk with God, talk with your spouse about talking with God, and then talk to God together as a couple. And as you build this habit into your marriage every single day, you're going to see how it starts to change your thinking and the framework of your relationship. In the second video, we talked about the importance of committing to a local church. You and your spouse need to commit to a local church that is healthy. And we talked about that idea. What does it mean to be healthy? It means that they preach from the Bible. They teach from the Bible. The church is practicing the one another's. The church is interested in impacting their community and impacting their world. It's a place where you can go and serve and worship together. And we talked about this simple idea. Couples who worship together stay together. Now in this third week or this third video, depending on how you're watching it, we're talking about a very simple idea of getting and committing to marriage training and coaching. So let's write this down week three. Here's the idea, marriage training and coaching. There it is. Why is this so important in your marriage? Well, there are a couple things that I want you to consider. If you work a corporate job like I did for many years, you get regular training at work. I mean, you're involved in seminars, workshops, webinars, one-on-one -on -one training, online training. I mean, the, the list is ongoing, is it not? And your company, what do they do? Well, they invest time and resources and energy, and they take you away from your clients or away from your day-to-day -day job. And what they do is they invest enormous, enormous amounts of time and energy to do what? To train you to get better faster. Interesting, isn't it? Think about your education. You went to school for X amount of years, you studied, you got certificates, you got degrees, you did all these things, you committed to a process because you knew the, the output or the end result of that process was going to favor you financially and professionally. So think about it this way. Why is it that we spend so much time and invest so much energy and effort and resources into our professional life, but we don't always consider investing in our married life, in our marriage? Does it not make sense for you and, and me and, and all of us, those that are us, that are married couples to really invest time in growing our relationship. Training matters and training absolutely matters in your marriage. So let me talk to you about a couple things here in my notes. First of all, why is training important? Training is, is important really because couples who train together stay together. Couples who learn together stay together and grow together. You and I need to develop our skills, our relational skills, our communication skills, our skills of emotional intelligence and empathy, and all these things, compassion. Training is important because your marriage is either on an incline or it's on a decline. Your marriage is either moving forward and learning new skills and growing in capacity to, to love and serve and give, or it's on the decline and you're working your way back. That's not what we want. We want to help you move your marriage forward. And that's what training does. That's what regular skills training can do for your marriage and for your life. There's another point here in my notes that I'd like to mention. You can't make your marriage better without good training. Think about it. I mean, if you sit home every single night, or weekend, just watching movies, that doesn't really do a lot for your marriage. That doesn't do anything for your marriage. So there has to be a level of intentionality. There has to be this desire in you and in your spouse to grow and build your relationship. 
Because if you don't invest in building your relationship, you're going to invest it in something else. The other thing I want to mention to you is training is a long-term investment in your happiness as a couple. It really is. As you train yourself more, as you learn more skills in your relationship, it is an investment in the happiness of your marriage, not only for today, but also for tomorrow. One of the things that I always tell couples is this. There are three C's for your marriage to be truly successful and happy over the long run. So I'm going to write these things down and, and let's talk about them one by one. So these are the three C's of growing marriages. Okay, so here's number one. The first one, you need a commitment. Now write them down and then we'll talk through them. Okay, so that's the first one. Number two, you need a coach. And number three, you need a course of action. I love that word, action. So let's take a look at these. A commitment, a coach, and a course of action. So we've established the fact that couples need marriage training. And now we're going to add the other component. They also need coaching to help them thrive and be truly happy in their marriage. So let's take a look at the first one here, commitment. What are we talking about when we say commitment? Although most of the couples watching this will be faith-based couples, it's not exclusive to faith-based couples. But what I encourage couples to do after I've seen marriages grow and some marriages fail and really fall apart, here's what I tell couples. You need a commitment to God and you need a commitment to one another. You need a vertical commitment and you need a horizontal commitment that is unbending for the rest of your life. In our faith, we talk about this idea of a relationship with Jesus Christ. This isn't something weird or strange or mystical, but it means that you recognize, first of all, that you're not perfect, that you've sinned against God, you've broken His commandments, and you realize that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins, to shed His blood, he was buried and he rose from the grave on the third day. You put your faith in God's Son, in Jesus Christ, what he did for you. And you believe in him and you repent and you turn from your sins, from your old ways, and you start a new way, a new plan. This begins your vertical relationship with God. It's not by works, it's by faith. It's not by money that you write, you know, a check that you write to the church or anything like that. It's by faith in God's Son, Jesus Christ. He gives you access to God the Father by faith. And once you have this relationship, then God expects you and I to develop this relationship every single day. That's the vertical part. The horizontal part and the commitment to your spouse is forever until God separates you by death. So every thriving marriage, every marriage that is happy short-term and long-term has these two commitments, a commitment to God and a commitment to one another until God decides to take you home. The second thing is a coach, a coach. Have you ever wondered why top performing athletes, some of these men and women make anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000 to $500,000 per match, per game? They're at the top of their game. I mean, can they really get better? And the answer is yes, they can. That is why they hire a coach. They hire someone who's experienced, someone who's an expert in their field, and they look out for things that they can't see. We can't see all the blind spots in our lives. You can't see them, I can't see them, we can't see them. But guess what? When you hire a coach, they can see the blind spots in your life and also in your marriage. So every couple needs a commitment to God, a commitment to one another, and they need a coach to help them to get better faster. Think about it this way. You're only going to grow in your relationship, in your marriage, when people can speak the truth into your life and into your marriage. The only way you're gonna get from where you are to where you want to be is to get a coach to look at things without any emotional attachment, to tell you things as they are, 
to challenge you and ask questions that maybe no one else is asking. Maybe you're a business owner or someone that leads many people and there comes a point in leadership where people don't always tell you the truth. It's not because they don't want to, but they might be intimidated by your position. Coaching allows you to get the truth as it is in the moment to help you pivot into a forward direction. So we need a commitment, we need a coach, and number three, we need what? We need a course of action. We need a proven way to help you move forward in your marriage, not all at once, not the fire hose approach where you get all this information and all this data at once. None of us enjoy that. It doesn't really help and it's not effective. Instead, you need a way to incrementally grow and learn new skills and build this into your relationship and into your weekly rhythm. None of us have an extra four hours every week to invest in our marriage, but all of us can find 30 minutes a week to invest in growing our relationship. So what happens when a couple decides to get serious? Get serious about praying with one another daily, praying with one another, encouraging one another, building this part of their marriage. What happens when a couple begins to attend a church that is healthy, one that talks about the Bible and teaches the Bible in a way that is practical for them to understand and implement, one where they can worship together? What happens when a couple begins marriage training and coaching and they have a weekly pattern of developing new relational skills? What happens? Well, they're just starting to realize and they're going to start to experience greater happiness and joy in their marriage. Now, there are a couple more things we're going to learn, but these three, once you put these three in place, they're going to significantly help you in your marriage relationship. At this point in our video, if you say, I've never really considered marriage coaching and training, I would like to invite you to watch a free training webinar. It doesn't cost you a single cent. All it costs you is 30 minutes of your time and your spouse's time. If you would like more information and you'd like to just consider how can marriage training and coaching serve me and my spouse, well, this is a good way to start. You can look here in the description below, click on the link, follow the link, just fill out the basic information and sign up for our free training webinar. It's only a 30 minute investment of your time, but I think it'll encourage you. You'll learn some things that maybe you didn't know before and it'll give you a way forward in your marriage relationship. So go ahead, don't be shy, look at the description, click on the link below and sign up for our free marriage training webinar.